Michaela Nogura is in big trouble and Marlena still MLM? Let's talk about this. What's up guys, it's Rich Labs with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Okay guys, oh my god. First of all, I'm. can y'all help me? Because yesterday's video, I talked about the world's hottest gummy bear. And uh, let me turn dim the light, the little nitro. Um, this is, I got this at It's Sugar. You can probably purchase it on itsugar.com, but it says again, it has 9 million Scoville. And then someone said in the comments not to eat it, that it's dangerous. Like it literally said when I bought it at the store that it's extremely hot. So now I'm thinking like, this is something that could put me in the hospital if I eat this on camera. I don't know, should I eat it on camera? You guys, if I eat it, it's a red gummy bear. If I eat it on camera, I will. If we get to 5,000 likes, leave a like, drop a comment, share it with a friend. I can't get a like to save my life. I can't get comments, subscribers to save my life. But I'll eat it on camera if we get to 5,000 likes. It's not that hard. Okay, so here we go. We have a lot to talk about because Michaela is in the drama again, but so is Marlena Still, and I want to talk about her for a little bit. So, uh, if you guys don't know who Marlena Still is, she's a popular influencer. Some people say she's like an OG uh, beauty guru. She kind of like was a foundation of the YouTube beauty community back in the day. Well, she started a makeup academy, and she there's this photo that that she posted and. A lot of people have a lot to say about it. Uh, this is the photo right here. I'm just gonna throw it up here on the screen, like this one. Well, it says here, it says how to build your portfolio. This is what she's gonna offer you. How to build a business from the ground up, how to market yourself, personal brand, how to build a social media following. And people are saying that that is like, she's like doing an MLM. It's a makeup school. Like you pay a monthly due, you watch videos. There's like these courses and lectures and you know, it's really, like, one thing I know about Marlena is that she's very detailed oriented. Like, it's like, to the, sh to the thing, it's like, there's different shapes of the eye. There's like almond eye, and then there's like oval eyes, and there's hooded eyes. And so some makeup skills, you know, may not apply to somebody with this type of shape face. It's, it's a lot, right? And this is why like sometimes when I, I see popular like makeup artists, they paint themselves and then when they paint somebody, you kind of look like them because they're painting their face on your face, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like that. So she's teaching you different ways of how to do, do makeup. So it's a lot to learn, but you know, you pick up a brush, you paint someone's face, but it helps to know what looks best for them, for their face. And like, I'm not gonna dive too much deep to it. To me, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Her has a makeup school. I mean, people, I, I just see a lot of negative comments. I don't think it's deserved. Like, I, And this is coming from me, which is a huge critic of people. I don't think that she's scamming people. I don't think this is an MLM. Out of this, out of this moment, I don't know. If it comes out that it is, we'll talk about it. But I don't think that she's doing anything negative. I think that she is trying to just start a new business venture and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, well then people in the comments had a lot to say about her. So here's uh, one posting said, did I hear correctly? She's 16 courses is 12 hour lectures. What a scam. So 16 courses, 12 hours of lecture. How is that a scam? Like that's like school. Then it says, yeah, but you get certificate from the one and only Makeup Geek Academy. Well, it's, which I'll have to assume is unaccredited until proven otherwise. My brain is telling me Makeup Geek 2.0 is an MLM with insanely expensive barrier to entry of a $3,600 12 hour 16 course certificate. Um, and then Marlena responded and she said this, I'm so incredibly grateful for all of you who have joined the Academy. I'm so excited to have some fun events with you all and have fun place to geek out on makeup and be inspired. We'll be having a launch party in the new future. I'll keep you updated. That's cute. Well, Marlena, you know, I think you live, I think she lives in the same state or city as me. Maybe I'll get an invite and we're dipping it and doing it. But you know, no one hangs out. I think I've got my Dior brush. But no one hangs out with me, I'm drama channel. But you know, the thing with drama channels is just like, it's just very hard to have like influencer friends because when they mess up, you gotta talk about them. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, mm, it's, just, it's just part of the gig, I guess. And if you don't talk about the friends who mess up, then oh, you're, you're biased. Oh, 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 You cannot hold them accountable because you're your friends. So it's kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't. 
So let's talk about Damned If You Do and Damned If You Don't. Michaela Nagura, she is at it again because she reviewed the James Charles Painted Palette. But my assistant told me, did you notice that she didn't really say like James Charles? Like the name? She didn't say the name. And I watched it. Let me roll you the clip. Here we go. Try this painted palette. It looks absolutely insane. Let's do a really pretty holiday eye. Okay, so far these shadows are freaking given. The blend, the pigment. The shimmers are shimmering. Okay, I love the eyes. I'm gonna move on. I was like, okay, th this is a mention and people charge for mentions. People charge for mentions. So, you know, people are saying that James Charles pay her. I don't, I don't think so, in my opinion. I don't think that, you know, I think it's very much tick for tack. He went to her wedding, supported her, she supports him, vice versa, until there's so much controversy, they just can't support each other. You know how it is. These people don't even like each other. But James Charles commented back, and I found this very interesting because it's very telling. It's very telling. So James Charles said, Oh my God, the shimmers look wet on your lips. And then he put like a, like a hot emoji, like, Okay, but look at, see, but no one compliments my shimmers on my lid. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll get to this in a minute. The shimmer I'm using on my lid, <laughs> I'm using the Scorpio palette. And actually, this color right here is the one I used. Look at this. Look how wet. <laughs> look how wet this is. This is so good. I mean, oh my God. Okay, let me like take this off. <laughs> All right. Well, Michaela responded to James Charles and she said, so, like that's all you're gonna say, just so, like to me, it's not, oh, James, thank you for watching my video. I'm so grateful that you're here. This really means a lot to me. You're such a big creator on the platform and it's gonna maybe help my algorithm that you're commenting and watching. Like none of that is just like so, to like it just seems so passive. It's very, seem, it seems so, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that if James commented on their makeup look, they would have freaked out. They're like, oh my God, this is huge. They, they would have. But I don't know. I'll have to say this. I find it very interesting. Uh, one, James is watching everything she does because that was embedded deep into one of her videos, unless she told him. And then two, her passive aggressive so this is so shady. I, I find that thing so weird. But then someone also were saying in the comments that how come she hasn't reviewed Jeffree Star's newest palette, Scorpio? But she didn't even review the last one, the Gothic bitch one, or Gothic Beach one. She didn't even review that one. And I'm thinking like, what is it? Like, why is she reviewing James who is who is problematic and scandalous? And I would even go as far to say much more problematic than James, than Jeffree Star. So, I mean, it's like the apple don't fall far from the tree. So it's like you got one person and you got, no, it's like politics to me. It's like people ask me like, are you a Republican or are you a Democrat? And it's like, the whole thing is like, you take one crappy person and you put them against another crappy person and you just vote which one's less crappier of the person, okay? That's why I'm not Republican, I'm not Dominican, what do Dominican? No, is not that, no, no, I'm Puerto Rican. No, I'm not Dominican, I'm not, what is it, Republican? I don't even know, what is it, Democrat? Okay, Democrat and Republican, I'm neither, okay? I'm the recycle party, how about that, Greenpeace, taco party. Okay, yeah, I'm the taco party, how about that? I can't say pizza party, because y'all cancel that too, because apparently that's like a thing. Oh, this is my cat, by the way, hey. <laughs> This is deleted tweets, um, and she's hanging around. She's very sassy. She kind of keeps herself. She's kind of like she doesn't really engage much. She kind of just watches everything go down. The other one is very cuddly and sweet and playful. This one, on the other hand, is just like spooked. Because like I said in my other video, we'll get back to the drama in just a minute. I adopted this one from the, was it SPCA or something like that? It was at the mall. They had it like in the window. Was it Saks Fifth Avenue? They had it in the window and I adopted it. And the lady told me that it came from a small, like just like a rundown apartment complex and the kids were throwing fireworks at it and it was hiding underneath a dumpster and then somebody called, you know, the, SPCA and they picked it up and then I found it at the mall in the window and I think it was like $75 in the background check and then they gave it to me and I raised it ever since then. So it's it's always been kind of skittish. Watch. Let me just, let me just, oh, she didn't run away. Well, I don't know. I think she's probably getting used to it. She'll probably bite me. But she's always very skittish about everything. And maybe she's getting used to it. I don't know. It takes time with these pets. That's why I'm saying if you're going to adopt pets, try to, you know, and I get the gig. Like I get the gig of like wanting an exotic, cool pet. Right, like a Maine Coon, or like something really crazy, like one of those like cats with no hairs, or what do they call it, a sphincter or something? What are those cats called sphincters? Or, 
<laughs> I'm just messing. I'm tripping all over the beat today. Sphinx. Yes, a Sphinx cat. Well, I'll just say that. Like, I get having something like cool and exotic, but if you can, I just, I highly say try to get a pre-loved animal, that's what I call them, pre-loved, and give them a good home. That's all. So that's what I did. So I did it two times. So, and when I got her, like I would travel a lot and I noticed that she would have a little anxiety that I was gone. So I got a second cat and then now they play together when I'm gone and stuff like that. Okay. Anyways, I digress. We were talking, oh yeah. I don't get why Michaela doesn't review the James uh, Jeffree Star palette. And I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, why doesn't she? I mean, I understand that Jeffree Star can be seen as problematic and like shady and stuff like that. I get that. But like, and I understand, I, I can have a list of like, like a li okay, Jeffree Star did this, 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 this. But then you can do the same thing for James Charles, right? And if you add it up, which is the lesser of two evils? That's really what it comes down to. I just, I'm just shocked that she would support James so much over Jeffrey. And if it is really, if it is really about the makeup, because I, I really like those people who say it's about the art, not the person. Okay, so here's the person and here's the art. So when I see people and they're like, oh, well, I don't like the person, but I like the art. Let's talk about the art and give it an honest, clear review. I respect that. But when you have people who just don't want to review it at all, then is it really about the makeup or is there some type of like vendetta against it? So when I see Michaela review all these makeup brands, even brands that I've never heard of, we'll get to that in a minute too, I'm, I don't understand why she, why she never reviewed a Jeffree stuff. Does that make sense? Because if you're gonna sit here and argue, well, he called her out, well, so has James in the past too, so has Manny, so has other, even Patrick Starr. So I'm thinking like, hmm. It, it seems very cliquish. It really seems like there's a group of beauty individuals who are like, you can't sit with us. And there's this other beauty group of individuals who are like, well, fine, I'll do what I want over here. It seems like that. And I just, I don't like, I see it, but I also see it like Chanel. I see it both ways. I see courtside and courtroom. So I don't know. I just, I just think it's so sad. The whole thing to me is so sad. And then I'm just waiting on Trisha Paytas cosmetics to come out. How about that? If you're, just do, just drop it. Just at this point, just drop Church Page Cosmetics. Okay. Anyways, um, so another video popped up about Michaela where she was um, reviewing makeup. Oh my God. Brand she's never heard of before. And I was kind of shocked because she reviewed this brand called Scandinavia. It's like a found, uh, not found, it's like setting powder. Oh, I'm sorry, setting spray. And I remember Manny and Mue almost had a collaboration with them, but they said he cussed too much, so they took away the sponsorship. They pulled out, and he got kind of upset about that. So when I saw her up, oh, see, I got receipts. When I saw her talk about that, I, uh, mm -hmm, talk about that in just a minute. When I heard her talk about that, I thought she was gonna give it a positive review, but she trashed it. And so now I'm thinking like, I don't know, like this is just my head. Like, like do Manny and her talk and like? Is it, is they're like, yeah, don't review this one. This one, give it a little shady, you know, if you shade them, if you give the product a shady review, then maybe they'll want you to sponsor. And that, and I've seen that happen. I've seen people be negative toward a brand and, f and like, if you don't sponsor me, I'm gonna give you a shady review. So when I saw that video, I'm thinking, you know, is she calling out these small brands and saying how crappy they are? so that she could get a positive review. And I don't know, it's just very, it's like, are you, it's just how it works. You just like fish for reviews. You just like, or do you just like heavily talk about something until you get a sponsorship about it? Or do you just heavily say something negative about it until you get a sponsorship? Is it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I've, I've seen that before. Like I've seen people like bully people online so they could be their friends. Like I've seen that too. So is it, are you doing that? with brands, if that's what's going on. I don't know, it's very interesting. But you know what I find interesting too is that Michaela and the girl stays far away from me. I noticed that too. And I, cause I understand the gig. I thought that she would understand the gig too. I thought she would like, this was like a couple months ago when she said I was, that I sucked and I was like the worst, whatever. If we have that clip, we'll throw it up here as an old clip. Two more things. Rich Lux. I, I now like to call him Rich Sucks because video he posts about me is inflated and lacks any sort of media literacy and no research and just you suck dude I you <laughs> um and then 
like you can post about me as much as you want like go for it i understand you get lots of views engagement whatever by talking about me because i'm a hot fire topic but like um talk about cody cody doesn't even have social media cody is a recovering addict he is going through sobriety and aa and um honestly the fact that you made a video about him that's fucking and I know that you're probably going to post this on your fucking IG and TikTok and whatever. Good. Put this clip in there. Cody does not deserve to be spoken about on social media. I understand that his ex posted a video saying, oh my God, I dated Cody. There is no tea there. That is someone he went through treatment with. He met in treatment. They were both drug addicts, of course. They've been through some shit together. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, no. Keep Cody's out of your mouth. Um, it's just weird in general that you're talking about him. Like, he appears in my videos sometimes. You barely hear him talk, hear him talk in my videos. He's, he's not a social media person. Yes, I put my life online. But, um, no. We're not going to do that to recovering addicts. And I was thinking like, well, you're saying all that, but like your, your whole gig is a character, Michaela. Like you don't actually talk like that in real life. Like you play it up for the camera. Like you really do. And then you, it, like I have, I have Michaela's gig. Like I have Michaela's gig. Like it's, okay, it starts off like this. It's always like something dramatic. So like, here we go. This is, here we go. Very excited, very loud with an accent. So it would be like the world's first rainbow palette. Boom. So she catches you with that. And then she'll go in with like, you know, blue, cause I suffer with depression and anxiety and eating disorders. I'm gonna use that. So she'll always get you in with like a heartfelt story about how horrible her life is or some, you know, some disease or some thing that she has. So you feel connected. So there you go. You're, they caught you with the intro, then you're into it. And then she'll give you a basic little review of it. And at the end, she's like, I did, like I've seen, she did it with her, get ready for me for Thanksgiving. And whoever's editing this video, go look on Michaela's Instagram, cause I'm, I'm not Instagram, Michaela's TikTok, cause I'm blocked. Michaela's TikTok, she did a get ready with me for Thanksgiving. And immediately she did it, a very excited intro. And then she went into her eating disorder on Thanksgiving. And then she ended it look all happy. If you have that receipt, we'll throw it up here. But that's, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, this is the formula. This is the gig. I've seen it a thousand times. Let's get ready for Thanksgiving dinner. The Glam Gripping Primer. Now, for me, Thanksgiving's all about gratitude. So I just want you to know that this year, I am extremely grateful for you. I love you so much. Like, I, I preach it to this guy. Now, I'm not going to lie. Thanksgiving is not a particularly easy holiday for me. I've been struggling with an eating disorder for eight years, and I will be honest, Thanksgiving is probably the hardest day of the year for me. It's really triggering, brings up a lot of really bad memories. So if anyone can relate, just know that you're not alone, and we got this. I want to do this, like, all matte brown eye. I'm just blending out my eye base. I haven't to hold in case you get cold palette. Basically, I'm going to just lay a matte brown shade all over my lid, then just blend that into the crease, add in a little bit of warm brown. Finish the eyes at the end. Charlotte, darling. Beautiful skin foundation. I'm using shade one. She Glam Contour. This stuff smells like chocolate, by the way. Also, my family put me on dessert duty. Do I look like I know how to bake? I'll show you what I put together. I'm going to set this She Glam with the Tom Ford bronzer. I'm going to risk it all and use this Makeup by Mario Berry Punch Blush. I know it looks a little bit dark, but I'm going to make it work because I feel like it's a really pretty fall color. Trust the process, okay? YSL just dropped a new concealer. It's full coverage, so I want to try it. YSL All Hours Concealer. Very interesting triangle applicator. It says full coverage, but this formula is really thin. I hate the applicator. Hate it. Okay, let's blend it out. It's weird because it's so thin, but it is full coverage. I'm going to set it with the Givenchy Prisme Loose Powder. Okay, it looks really, really good with powder on top. Going back in with a little bit of Patrick Ta Powder Blush. My Michaela X Glam Light Highlighter. I'm doing a smudged smoky brown liner. Lashes and mascara. I'm going to take my sponge. Go right over my lips. Kind of mutes the pigment. And then I'm taking Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Pencil. And Makeup by Mario Smoky Pink Lip. What is this? Plump in color. <laughs> 
Mmm. Yes. See, I wanted this like monochromatic look. Hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Love ya. A girl, and people fall for it all the time. I, I can't believe people still fall for it all the time. Oh my god. Ah, it's so good. This is, again, I can't stop talking about this. This is the Paris Hilton Tumblr. People say you can get it at Walmart, but it's like practically sold out. I saw it online for $50, even $80. That's how rare it is. So, Paris Hilton's face, it says be iconic, it has her signature down here. It's pink, it's 40 ounces. Stanley cups are shook. And I would, I never thought I would have one of these, man. I always thought Stanley cups were ugly and annoying. But ever since I have this, it's like, it's two bottled waters that fit in here. So, I don't know. I find myself drinking a lot more because of these. So, I like that. And I love Paris Hilton, so why not? Okay, so anyways, I digress. Um, I think it's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. So, we'll see if we can um, hit the goal for the world's hottest gummy bear. It literally says right here, world's hottest gummy bear. And it says combustible. Whoa. It says flammable. Whoa. Combustible and flammable. Whoa. All right. We'll see how this goes. All right, guys. Let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.